Welcome everybody. My name is Tim Sandy and I'm a senior systems engineer with Cohesity. In this particular video, I'm going to cover our integrations with Crawl on track for backing up exchange databases and how to do granular restores. So just to kind of set the stage here, we have already installed the agent on the SQL server for exchange. We've already also connected the sources. So if we go to sources here, you're going to see that we have the exchange showing up as a physical and also the SQL server for it. So we've already got the source set up. And then from a protection job perspective, we've gone ahead and created a protection job for exchange. And if we go ahead and click in here, you're going to see that there is a backup job that we can use to restore from. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to protection and then we're going to go to recovery. And then we're going to click on recover and you're going to see here that we have instant volume mount and that's what we're going to do is for being able to go into exchange and do a granular level recovery of say some emails but actually before that hold on a second let's go over to our uh, email account so i've got our email account open as you can see we have five test emails so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and delete those okay and to set the stage we're going to recover those five emails so i just wanted to cover that real quick and do that so let's go back to the Kuwait interface again we're going to go to recover and then we're going to go to instant volume mount so then we're going to type in exchange hit enter and we're going to find the exchange server so we're going to click on that so we're going to select the volume that we want to restore. And it's going to be the C drive in this test environment. Now, if we had multiple restore points, we could go in here and click the change recovery point. But as I showed you before, we only had that one backup job. So we've only got one recovery point. So we're going to leave that as default. But obviously in production environment, you'd have multiple of these and you can go and select a certain point in time. Now, we're also going to have the mount target. Now, the particular virtual machine that I'm working off of with this web browser is the ADC server. And so we're going to change it to that because that's where we're going to want to mount that point. The volume mount point two is to that server to go in and do the recovery. And that's also where we have the Kroll software installed as well on this ADC server. So we're going to click save after we've selected it and we're going to go ahead and create the task. And this is going to complete really quickly here. You're going to see it's running right now, but any second it will go ahead and it'll show it as completed. As you can see, it's successful. So now we're going to minimize the browser. And again, we have the crawl on track for exchange right here. So we're going to go ahead and launch that. So as you can see, the data wizard comes up and what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to point to the EDB path here, the database path. So just to look real quick, I'm going to open up Explorer on this particular server. You're going to see that we have a folder called Kuisity Mounts. And then here is that restore that we're going to be uh, connecting to. So if you open that up, so we're going to go to Program Files. We're going to go down to Microsoft Exchange Server. V15, we're going to go down to the mailbox folder, then the ID of the database, and then as you can see here, we have all the different files. And here is the EDB itself. So now that we minimize that, we're going to basically go to that same location by browsing to it here, go to this PC, go to the C drive, Christy mount points the restore, program files, Microsoft, Exchange Server, V15, mailbox, the database, and then there's the EDB file. So we're gonna click open. And as you can see, it's gonna automatically populate the log file path as well. Then we're gonna go ahead and click next. So we've selected all mailboxes. The domain controller is the ADC, which happens to be the same box that we're on. And then for the server name, we went ahead and put in the server name of the exchange.talabs.local. And then we're going to click Next. And as you can see, it's going to connect 
to that Exchange server. And as you can see, that happened. So we're going to go ahead and click Close. And then now you see that we have the list of all the mailboxes. And the one that we were wanting to restore from is the administrator. So you're going to open up the administrator mailbox, go to the inbox. And there's those five emails that we had previously deleted on the live environment. So then we're going to come down here and we're going to open this up. It may take a minute. This is a demo lab, so keep that in mind. In production environment, it'll be a little quicker. So as you see, now it's expanded the live administrator mailbox. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to go up here to the connected mount point with those emails, and we're going to highlight them all. And what we're going to do is we have to drag and drop them over into the inbox here on the left-hand navigation pane. We can't drop them into this right-hand part of the navigation pane. It does have to be drag and dropped into the left-hand side. So it's going to go ahead and copy those. And you can see that it did that successfully. So we're going to close that. So now we can close the crawl application. We can close this. Let's go ahead and maximize again the browser. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back to this mailbox. And lo and behold, look what's in there. We now have those five emails that we just restored to the live environment. And as you can see, it picked it up right away. So that's essentially how we go through and do a backup of a Exchange database. Then from using that backup, we're going to use Crawl to go in and select particular objects within it and restore those directly to the live database. We could also restore those to a test SQL server as well if you chose to. You could do the entire database, a particular mailbox, or just the individual items like we did. Now, one final step that you want to be sure to do, depending on what your goal is, but going back to the Cohesity UI, again, this is where we created that volume mount point of that database. So the final step would be here to tear this down. So if you're completely done with using it, best practices, you're gonna to wanna to go in here, click tear down, click yes, tear down. It will do that pretty quickly. And we're going to see that that is now destroyed. So if we bring up Explorer again, we go to the C drive and go to that Cohesity mount folder, as you can see, that restore point is no longer there. So it successfully deleted that. So obviously you'd want to clean those up afterwards, unless there's a particular reason that you needed to keep that for longer period of time, which is fine. But you want to clean those up so that obviously you don't start filling your drives on your servers. So that is how you do a granular level recovery of items or objects within an Exchange mailbox. For example, we did those five emails. So hopefully this is helpful and for you to understand on how we integrate with Kroll in order to do the granular level recovery.